长期平衡那个上面，知道吗？呀呀，长期平衡叫那个上面，知道吗 ？Well, <coughs> I don't look beautiful. I am beautiful because I'm God's radiance. God's radiance out in the sun. It's quite beautiful. So, yesterday I had a conversation about fear. And if you haven't watched the conversation, please make sure that you watch the conversation here. It's really an important conversation that we need to have as human beings. We need to have this conversation as human beings. The level of fear here on planet Earth is pretty intense. So yesterday, I mindful Monday, I spoke about the two emotions that run humanity. And I said it is love and fear. Dep I want to say depending on where you are in consciousness, depending on where you are in consciousness, if you are functioning at the lowest levels of human existence, which you know there are many, many realms of human existence, many realms of consciousness. There are many realms of consciousness here on planet Earth. And some people are functioning at such low levels of human existence. It's like, are you even human? Seriously, are you human? Or what's going on with you? No need to judge. You could just observe and say, but wow, but wow. Okay. So, depending on where you are in human consciousness, you are dealing with these two emotions: love and fear. If you're functioning at very low levels of human existence, you are dealing with fear and greed. Fear and greed. I used to speak about this a lot in my stock market programs,、um, because when you're dealing with the money thing, the money thing, it's root chakra, root chakra. So, yeah, it's root chakra stuff. Very root chakra stuff, and. I I realized that、um, some people that were coming to me for learning how to trade the stock market were root chakra people, and I was like, I I can't live in this vibration. I have got to ascend, <laughs> get back to my spirituality, because I was trying to help them like ascend, and it was just not working. And I'm just like, this is root chakra things. You're dealing with fear and greed, fear and greed. So they make a lot of money, lose a lot of money, make a lot of money, lose a lot of money. It was just, it was intense. It was intense to deal with that energy. It was intense to hold that space.、Um, and I found that usually when they were in my programs. And my weekly、uh, coaching programs, they would make money as soon as they would get out of the program and graduate. They would make money, and then, but when they'd have the losses, it was just intense because they hadn't transmuted that energy of、uh, fear and greed, fear and greed, fear and greed. Neither, not, neither right or wrong.、Um, it's just what it is. We are dealing with many layers of consciousness. So as you rise in consciousness, you are then、um, confronted by the emotions of fear and love, fear and love. And yesterday, I shared with you that I had a conversation with my cousin in 2017, and she said to me, "Aren't you afraid that African men will kill you for trying to empower the woman?" I didn't actually understand how impactful that was on my psyche. Number one, because I had been、uh, there had been attempts on my life by African men when I was living in South Africa, and I didn't realize how much I still needed to deal with that energy and just remove myself from that energy of African men are going to kill me for just fucking existing. For it, but like, why is it that African men do not want their woman to be empowered? What is it about this fear? What is it about this control that you still need to have over your woman being empowered, being successful, making more money? What is it? This is what I just don't understand. But you know, it's not for me to try to understand this. It's for me to live my purpose. It's not honestly. 
it's not for me to try to understand this. But during my smear campaign, I realized that that fear arose. And I had to sit with that fear. I had to deal with my issues. I had to sit and say, I cannot be killed. I, I cannot be killed. Nobody can touch me. Nobody can say it's your time to go until the spirit of the living God in me says it's your time to go along with my higher self because my higher self is in concert with God consciousness. It's in alignment and in concert with God consciousness. So nobody can kill me. But I had to work through that. I had to work through that. But then I thought to myself, how many women have been killed in that time where these clowns were wasting time trying to kill me? How many women were killed? How many children were trafficked? The amount of women that have been trafficked, sexual trafficking, the, the amount of women that have been trafficked just in this short period, the amount of birthing farms that have happened just in this period where I had a smear campaign going, I said, these people, that's why I say, you know, there are many realms of consciousness and some souls are functioning at such low realms of human existence that there is no hope for them in this lifetime. So this is why I say to us as women, actually, when I say African woman, I'm not only calling upon African woman. We are all from Africa. Humanity began in Africa. I am calling upon all women, speak your word. Instead of gossiping, speak your word so that these things can collapse. These things can collapse. Speak your word. Speak prayer, powerful prayer so that your children can be safe, so that you can be safe, so that you can transmute this energy of dying and recognize that you are immortal. Nothing can touch you. So that when these warlocks and these witches in these churches are trying to kill you, that energy of fear that is already in race consciousness does not touch you. It does not touch you. The reason why we can succumb to the energy of death before our time it's because this energy of death and killing of women and murdering of the divine feminine is already in consciousness. It has been in consciousness for over, I don't know how many thousands of years. So it just takes a dumb warlock and a dumb witch to channel into that energy, which is in the third layer of consciousness, the collective unconscious, and they can take you out. Instead of gossiping, using your fifth chakra to gossip, Use your fifth chakra to pray a powerful prayer. I will not be taken out until I fulfill my purpose here on planet Earth. Nothing can take me out. Nothing. I am protected by the prayers of my ancestors. Nothing can take me out. And another thing, boundaries. Have boundaries with everyone who is addicted to, to gossiping. Lies. Call justice on them. Call justice on them. This is for our children. This is for the good men. This is for you, woman. Call justice on these people. Call justice. Use your voice to download a powerful vision. And once you've downloaded that powerful vision, call justice. Speak justice. You will sleep better. I have been sleeping better since I have been speaking my word, calling on justice because all of the women that have been trafficked and harmed and killed during the time of my smear campaign must, their souls must be accounted for. All of the children that have been trafficked during my smear campaign, all of these children must be accounted for. Somebody must take, must take responsibility. In America, in Japan, in South Africa, all over Africa, in Europe, there must be justice. There must be justice. Yes, we must call on justice. So do not be ashamed to call on justice. We need as many prayer warriors to call on justice so that the evil on this planet can fall, can dissolve. It is your right to use your fifth chakra to call on justice and download a powerful vision. It is your divine right.
Transformation Tuesday. I have transformed from that pathetic, depressed, powerless feminine to a woman who says there is light, there is light and there is darkness here on planet Earth. And we've got to use both weapons. The light to call in a new vision and divine justice to dissolve this, this evil. To dissolve this evil. Because if we don't, we're not getting anywhere. We're, ne we're never going to go anywhere. So, Transformation Tuesday. Bye!